Hello, my name is Corey Freeman, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Headway Helper WordPress plugin with Headway Themes. Um, Headway Helper is a plugin I developed to allow people who maybe aren't interested in using a child theme but do want a little bit of extra power and accessibility in Headway. Uh, so here you can see I have it installed and it actually has this little extra menu tab up here for the admin bar. But there is also It'll also appear here under easy, easy Hooks, excuse me, in the WordPress administrative dashboard. So the primary feature of Headway Helper is the Easy Hooks feature. Um, this was a feature that you could find in Headway Themes 2.0. Uh, they are reworking on it for Headway Themes 3.0 so far, but I saw a lot of interest in people for bringing it back. And so here it is in the form of a plugin. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'll just type in some HTML here and I go ahead and say like us on Facebook. And this is the before header link hook. I'll save changes here. Reload. And you can see it appears here in the header block. You can also use custom CSS. So here I could do body.custom div number social uh, float right to get that to align itself. Um, so that's just one of the ways that you can use hooks and CSS together. I'm going to go ahead and go to this single. Uh, page and I'll show you another hook. If we go to easy hooks under content. Uh, you can see, oh, I like clicked back on accident. You can see here there's after entry content. So, um, Corey wrote this post. If I reload, uh, that will appear down here. And you could style that with CSS the same way. You can use plain text uh, if you don't want to put things in a div. So it would just be something like uh, subscribe for more information. And that would appear. So you don't actually have to put HTML in there. And you can actually also put in PHP. So today's date is, and then whatever code you want to use. And you can see that. Obviously, I just put in um, the year. That was me writing the wrong code. That wasn't like a, like a bug or anything. Um, and you can just clear it out and click Save Changes if you want to get rid of that. So there are a good amount of hooks for you to use uh, to customize your website. If you need to get a little bit further, you can do custom PHP. Uh, I'm going to cheat, actually, and grab some custom code snippets from the schematic website. Uh, so let's, let's do this. Let's say you want to change the category archive title. So um, if we were to click on uncategorized, you see it says here, category archives, uncategorized. Um, here, I want it to say now reading. So I would not open up with PHP. Uh, that tag is already opened up. You can put in a closing one if you'd like to, but it's not necessary. So just paste in your code snippet and click Save Changes. And when I reload, you can see it says now reading. So that gives you the ability to work with some PHP and some CSS uh, without opening up the visual editor and without having to use a child theme, which might send your widgets uh, here and there. But with Headway Helper, it all just kind of works. And of course, you can use Headway Helper with a child theme if you would like to. Let's see, there are also some settings here. Uh, that are going to allow you, if you would like, to actually kind of hide 
Headway and Headway Helper in the back end. So as you know, when people log in, they can see this menu even if they can't, uh, even if they can't necessarily access those options. But here you can hide it, and actually, um, let me bookmark this page real quick. You can also use Headway Helper to disable the menu in the left-hand side. And so then if you want to hide things from your clients, um, if you just want to give your clients the ability to do different admin things but don't necessarily want them to see all the Headway stuff, this is a good option for you. And you would just navigate back to this page and uncheck these check marks uh, to make them reappear. So this is maybe after you've built a website and you're just doing regular maintenance on it. Um, the reset function will be coming soon. Uh, by the time I post this video, it'll still be coming soon. I don't even know why I clicked on it, but there might be. This is a, I'm sorry, this is a developmental version. But all these things here that you see, aside from the reset, uh, work completely. Some things that are coming soon since I've already mentioned it, is of course a reset, which will allow you to clear out anything uh, if you don't want to use anything in here. Um, and also a custom JavaScript option for those of you who want to get super fancy. Uh, and that is pretty much a quick overview of Headway Helper. Uh, check out headwayhelperplugin.com for more information. I'm Corey Freeman. Thanks for watching.